It's a little bit of paradise this place, isn't it? it certainly is. Beautiful. Been out on paddleboard again this morning. We don't want to leave here, do we? No, dog's made two friends, been swimming. Yes, <laughs> took him out on paddleboard and he just decided that's it, I'm going to swim the rest of the way and he yeah. didn't swim. To get to some dogs that were playing, he wanted to go join the doggies. Yeah, so we need to get packed away from here. We need to head back to Fort William to see if those parcels come because Amazon's just, not, Amazon's just not saying anything. You can't get hold of anybody at the post office. The van needs washing, we're going to need more water and we're going to need more food again. Yeah, well, to be fair, we've done quite well for food. We've not done a shop for nearly a week, so... Yeah, We're doing pretty good. And then saunter back to Fort William, and hopefully the parcel's there. Also, I don't know what we're going to do. Well, back in Fort William again. Now I'm just hoping that they've got Catherine's parcel or our parcel, should I say? Because um, it's still saying it's out for delivery today. The post office shuts in half an hour. So we're hoping they've got the parcel because tomorrow we've got the ferry booked to the Isle of Skye. Um, so we need to do a bit of shopping while we're here and fill up with water. We just parked literally just around the corner from the Morrisons. We went and filled up with water the other day. It's another scorching hot day. So we've been waiting about half an hour for Catherine. Me and Zach have got a theory, haven't we? There were some clove shops over near the post office and I can guarantee you she hasn't got a parcel but she's got cloves. Here she comes up. Probably. Or she's got the parcel well, in the bag. Uh, she ain't got no parcel, she's been closed shop, look. I, get, I bet we ain't got that parcel. Oh, why else is it hot? No, it's not your parcel. No, nah, we knew that. Sorry. <laughs> Giving bloody clothes shopping. Yeah. Well, just next door to the post office was a hardware store, so I've got some toilet flush, look. I've got important stuff. And then there happened to be a mountain warehouse as well with a big sale on. What's that? Oh, and I got Zachy something as well. What is it? Can I show you what I've got him? I thought this was great. What has Zachy got? Oh. It's an extendable fishing net, so it's great for storage. There you go, Zachy. Mm. That's what you wanted, <laughs> wasn't it? And collapsible bucket. A collapsible bucket so I can go and wash van. <clears throat> so there you go, you see? I'm not done too bad. Well, I've seen nothing like it in Aldi before. No fresh stuff. No, nope. all the fridges have gone down. All the fridges it. emptied. They've had to empty all the fridges for some reason. They wouldn't even let us take any meat out. No. Nope. So we've had to buy all frozen stuff. <laughs> Luckily enough, we've got this extra fridge in here which you can put into freezer mode. But yeah, I've never seen anything like it. We're crackers. They were ridiculous. racing to get everything off the shelves. So I presume the fridges are packed in. I don't know. Well, there was pools of water where the milk and the cream and that was. And... Yeah, so it's all frozen stuff. <laughs> Sounds like we've got a thunderstorm coming, doesn't it, Zach? That's some right rumbles of thunder out there. So just trying to get everything on charge, use maximum amounts of electricity, so we know when we leave it, everything's charged up. But yeah, the sky's a bit... Uh... I don't know if you can see through this net, but the sky is very black over there, and it's rumbling. Don't bother you, does it, Boo? Yeah, I'm not bothered. He woke me up though. I was like, what's that? Yeah, I was just going to say, except from it made him jump about 25 sometimes. Oh, can you hear it rumbling again? So, there we go, we've got his clean washing done anyway. Uh, yeah, but you've took awning in now, I've got nowhere to hang my washing line. Yeah, because there's a big storm coming. <laughs> Is there? It's rumbling. <laughs> Seeing as it's as hot as Spain out there. I thought we'd treat us then to a bit of sangria. There you go, a bit of sangria for you. Ooh, thank you. As soon as it feels like we're in Spain with the heat. <laughs> Ooh, it's still lingering. It is. It's getting here slowly. <laughs> He's chucking it down. Oh wow, blimey. Everybody's <laughs> legging it in now. My god, lightning went straight across the top of mountains. Welcome back to the channel, and as you've probably already noticed, we're at a campsite. Now, I did film a clip when we got here about the reasons why we came here and everything, and for some reason there's no sound on the clip whatsoever. But anyway, we needed to wash clothes again, uh, we needed water, we needed empty toilets, we needed empty waste, we needed to hang around in Fort William for another day. This parcel is supposed to be coming today. 
Uh, we've got a ferry booked for half past five tonight for, to the Isle of Skye, so we need to get over there, which is probably an hour and 20 minutes from Fort William in a motorhome because it's uh, a twisty road. So yeah, we came here for a couple of different reasons. Uh, washing clothes. Now when we use the Revolution machines, the £10. Now it's £3 here on this campsite, so we've saved £7. The pitch was £37 for the night, which I didn't think was badly priced. So if you take off the price of the washing machine, um, I think it's probably worked out better for us to come here. We've all had nice hot showers and you know you can don't have to worry about how much water you use, you can have a proper good shower. So that is one of the other reasons why we came here. Uh, but today we need to leave site for 12. Uh, we're going to mooch into Fort William, mooch about a bit. Hopefully get this parcel by about, I'd say 3 o'clock at latest. Half past, I think they shut at half past 3. So we need to hang around there, pick up the parcel, head to Sky, find somewhere to park up tonight. Take two. Will she come back with a parcel today? I hope so. So we've given up on the parcel. Yep. Aren't we, Zach? Yep. And we've headed out to Malang, or just before Malague. Malang, Malang, yeah. to get the ferry. We've got a bit of time to spare. Zach's got his net, and we've come back here to that little beautiful beach. Yeah, we're going to have a chill and a cuppa. Yeah. We're going to have a brew. And Zach wants to get his net out. Yeah. Where's your net? Up there. Well, no good up there. If you want to be down here. Oh. Plenty of things in the water coming about. Coming to the coast, it'd be a bit cooler, didn't you? It's certainly not. <laughs> it is. Now, we're going to go for a, well, Catherine and Zach, we're going to go for a swim, but there's loads of little jellyfish down there, so that's out of the question. I would have liked to have done today. Yeah, so. Those 20 plus jellyfish just mm. on the yeah. shore. Heading to the harbour and get ready for Yay. sailing across the Isle of Skye. Woohoo! Boat trip! Now the waiting game. I presume our boat's still over there. Yeah. It's got to wait here for the boat to come. I presume we go down there. No idea. Never been before. Well, you must go down there because that's the ramp for the ferry. It leaves in just over an hour. Solar panels while I'm up here. What do you reckon? He's got a wash. Yeah, the roof's uh, filthy, yeah. though. Yeah. It's baking, isn't it? Half past five. Hello. And there's a little sea breeze and it's still red hot. Mm. Anyway, hopefully it's a little bit cooler in the sky, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's hope so. We're getting ready to sail. More car alarms. That's it. Yeah. More people that don't listen. I know. <laughs> Want to see you? Yeah. It's roasting again now. Should we get on the boat and go back the other way? Oh, that breeze was lovely set up there. Should have seen the size of some of the jellyfish we've seen out there, the way. The size of dust bins. We saw some orange ones. Yeah, there. some big orange ones, right? Long things they were. So uh, uh, we need to get off this boat and find somewhere to park up for tonight because it's six o'clock now. I 
can't believe it. We've come to Iron Sky and we've got a bloody traffic jam in the middle of nowhere, look. Whoa! Lightning yeah, straight down it. there. Crikey. I don't know if we got that on camera, but <laughs> yeah. It looks like we've uh, hit a bit of a storm, haven't we, over here? I want a kebab. I wanted a kebab for about a week. Yeah. There's a takeaway six miles further up here. Mm -hmm. Looks like they do kebabs. I'm starving. <laughs> Watch, they'll be closed. <laughs> they better not be closed. I am starving. Yeah, we're all hungry. If they're closed, I'm going to break in and make a kebab because <laughs> I want a kebab. God knows where we're stopping. I don't care. It can be a lay bar for me. We'll just sort food first. <laughs> as long as I've got a kebab to stuff in my belly. Hmm. <laughs> come on, eh? well, go get his traffic moving first. Pizza will do me. Well, we managed to get a cheeky lay-by, got kebab meat and chips, no salad though because they didn't have any. So. Put that box full though. <laughs> yeah, so I've got uh, I got me kebab meat and chips. Like I say I would have preferred a donut kebab with salad, but... Chicken yeah, burger and chips. Chicken burger and chips. Well, Zachy's got his usual chicken nuggets and chips. So we better get tucked into this because I'm starving. What have you got to say on the Starlink situation, Zach? Cry. <laughs> it's not very good. The Starlink won't work. Why won't you work? Connect to the internet right now. The internet is broke. Yeah. It's official. You cannot get Starlink on the Isle of Skye. So we just had to make a hasty retreat because we got absolutely nailed with midges down there. So I've come a bit further around where it's out more open and there's a bright breeze here so that should get rid of them. But look at the views out the window. This is just a cracking little lay by on the edge of the road but oh, there'll be no midges with that breeze. <laughs> Lovely. What's going off? It was off at the bedtime and we moved. Ten o'clock at bloody night and all. Actually, this is a cracking spot though. Look at them views. We just missed the sun going down behind that mountain there. Well, morning everybody. This was a cracking place to stop in last night. Bit noisy on the road. It was quiet overnight. Lorry's cars this morning from about half five. We slept in till nearly eight, so we did well. So we started being a bit noisy. You are a bit back from the road so it's not so bad but the views out there are absolutely spectacular. So we're going to get a bit of breakfast cooked up because we're all starving. And I uh, fancy a poached egg on toast this morning so got some eggs that I want using up so why not. Now I'm going to do the toast under the grill because I've got four big slices of toast to do and in the Ridge Monkey it's one slice at a time so it's just quicker to use the grill. Here you go. Poached eggies on toast. Thank you. Right, let's do this. We've already had to stop, we've only been going two minutes. He just went straight in front of that car. <laughs> they were nearly a right crash then, the car went straight in front of another one. Let's go to this pretty waterfall. Do you want to get down to it? Yeah, that waterfall. That's a good one. Looking quite bad. Come another mile and we've stopped again <laughs> to see an old bridge. Slinger Chin, I think it's pronounced. Slinger Chin. Uh, there's a brewery here as well, so we might have to check that out. Mm. It's got a sh oh, it's smell got of food, it smells good. <laughs> that's my beer. <laughs> we weren't having any beer for a few days, but I think uh, there's a brewery here, so I think we might have to sample some. 
Let's go and have a look at this bridge. I'm just having a bit of Highland Spring water. I say buy it from the shop one. I feel like getting your budgie smugglers out. Look at that. But nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful down there. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, all this fake news. Tell me. You say there's a waterfall here. Mm. Yeah. What? I can't hear you from out there. So there's a waterfall here. Uh, there's supposed to be. There's supposed to be a big waterfall up here. So let's go and have a look. Near a waterfall over there. There's another one over there somewhere. Lovely coastal breeze, though, isn't there? Yeah. Now that's a view. So Catherine says we're going to one of the highest waterfalls. Yeah, I think she got it a bit wrong on Google Maps. That's not here. But look at that view. That's pretty spectacular. So it turns out Catherine did have a bank card with her. So I, went I to, did. Went to get a couple of coffees. I want to thank Paul and Sandra for these. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Thanks for buying us some coffees. We've actually bought coffee because it's a bit early for booze. Yeah, and <laughs> Zach's got a nice cold drink as well, yeah. so we've each got one, so and thank Zach, you. Zach Garfanta. Yeah. So some of the best camping spots we find, you just stumble across them. Look at this. So calm and still down here as well. And there's a mobile phone mast up there. So we'll probably shuffle around later on. But this is where we're gonna stop. Wow. It's as calm as anything down there. Look at that beautiful water. And I presume that's the Isle Stornoway, is it? Across there, Stornoway. This is a beautiful spot, isn't it? Yeah. And if you wanna know where we parked, you'll have to tune into the next video and we'll tell you in that one. <laughs> because we're gonna chill out here and in the next video, we're going to travel a little bit further and we're heading to a brewery. So you don't want to miss that one, do you? No, that'd be great fun. Really don't want to miss that one. So we're going to get some food on in a bit. Yep. A bit of tea on and just just relax here. And also see, we should be able to get a nice sunset here. And typically, coming past are a bunch of motorbikes. A bunch of motorbikes. <laughs> no, it's come past for ages, so I thought I'll just <laughs> do the end part of this video yeah. now and some motorbikes Noisy come past. Devils. Anyway, we're going to end this video here, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.